When I first started my spiritual journey, the most important thing to me was journaling. There was something about journaling, writing down all of the things that I was experiencing, writing down all of the things that I was coming to epiphanies about, having these aha moments, these God moments where everything was just amazing, everything was exciting, a leaf would fall off a tree and it was falling leaf was speaking to me and, and the, the sun would set you know, with a certain hue of, of orange or red or, and, and it was God speaking to me. And everything was spirit, everything was God. And I look back at my journals and I think, geez, I'm so glad I wrote this down because there's so many times now that I forget. And all of these amazing things that many would call miracles, I see them happen every single day in people's lives. And it's like, you, you lose the excitement for it. You start getting wrapped up in life again, or uh, with me, it's wanting to learn more, know more about divinity and God, and it's like nothing excites me anymore. And I found my old journals the other day, and I was reading through them, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to start journaling again. And so I've been doing that recently, and and it, it was kind of hard, actually, to get back into the practice of journaling because you have to find the time, if you're a mom or a dad or... Uh, anything. It's very hard to actually find this time to sit down and actually write. Uh, so the guides came in with this exercise for me probably about, mm, it, it was recently, and I've been using it every single day. And it's it's basically a form of automatic writing. Automatic writing is, is a form of mediumship where you're actually having another spirit or person who is in the soul plane step forward, use your etheric energy to basically use your energy so that they can move your hand and have your hand move where they're actually writing. And this is a form of mediumship. What I'm going to be teaching you is more of a, I guess it would be more of like a higher self writing. So you're connecting with something that is already inside of you, allowing that to expand, and then you're allowing that to write. So rather than having another person or thing that, that is not you outside of you coming in and using your physical vehicle as a way to, to for them to write, this is a way for you to connect with higher states of your consciousness, to connect with your guides, to connect with your angels, to connect with everything because everything that you are and everything that watches over you you can kind of imagine little stations within your body with these little control centers where if you work with Archangel Michael, there's a piece of your body inside of your body, probably inside one of your chakras, where your consciousness can sit down and call out to Archangel Michael and you can work with Archangel Michael. So I look at them kind of like little control decks or control centers within us. So by learning how to connect with those little control centers within us, we have a direct line communication to anything in the universe to any beings, to our guides, and most importantly, to our creator, which is our creator self. And that that is a layer of you, and that means that you can connect with that and allow that to write through you. So the following exercise is what the guides taught me. They had me set aside 20 minutes of each day, and I was having a really hard time doing that. So they said, what we'd like for you to do First then, before setting your journaling goal, is to write down all of the people that you talk to every day on your smartphone. We want you to write down all of the people that you talk to that don't have anything to do with work. And we want you to write down all of the people that you talk to that are friends, but you don't talk about anything. Maybe you just send emojis back and forth, or you know, you're not really talking about much. Um, and so I sat down and I wrote down all the people that I talk to, all the Facebook messages I answer, all of the things that aren't really within work or anything. And um, I came up with five hours, five hours that I spend on my phone, d doing stuff on the internet, on uh, buying stuff online, things like this, where I could have, I could be journaling. Obviously not for five hours, but I can surely find 20 minutes to write in my journal. Um, if I'm willing to turn my phone off for 20 minutes. So that's what I do now. Um, every evening between 9 and 9.20, I turn my phone off and I write in my journal, even if it's nothing, even if I write nothing at all, just, wow, I have really nothing to say at all, absolutely nothing to say, then all of a sudden stuff will come to mind and I'll just start writing because I do this exercise I'm going to teach you next. So it's in the form of a meditation 
You can learn this meditation and you can do this exercise without music. You can do it. You can you can draw it out as long as you'd like, or you can just learn how to do it and then just do it without the without the recording. So without further ado, here we go. What we'd like for you to do now is to just take a moment, a moment to think about your day and to think about your intentions. Your intentions for this writing session with your guides. You can think about questions you may have. Or you can just think of a topic. Many times what this channel does is she just says, I don't know, surprise me. I don't know. And that's okay. We like surprises. So what I'd like for you to do is to bring your awareness into the center of your brain. In the center of your brain is the pineal gland. Many know this as the third eye, your inner seeing. What we'd like to do now is to help to decalcify this area, to activate this area in the highest and best possible way so that you may begin to communicate with the genius of your soul's intelligence, which resides in the pineal gland. So bringing your attention into the center of your brain, what I'd like for you to do is to imagine, imagine that there is a ball of energy in there, a ball of light, mind you can say take me into the center the center of my soul's intelligence in the pineal gland or you can just imagine that you're there prior to writing with your guides or your higher self you must make sure that you're not connected to other people's energies, other people's fields, or messages about them or for them could easily come through as messages for you. And this happens often. So in your mind, just say, come back and imagine all the little tendrils, all the little pieces of you coming back to you. Many see this as a ball of electricity, a ball of light. And what you may imagine is every time you think about another, think about a place, think about a thing, a little shot of electricity shoots out of the center of your brain and connects with the field of the person, place, or thing that you're thinking about. This is why you can think about your mother or father or anyone for that matter, and then they call you. You wonder, I was just thinking about you. Wow, what a coincidence. It's because your energy, your electricity just reached out and touched theirs, which caused them to think about you. The issue with this is we become connected and intertwined with people, places, and things outside of us. And it makes it very hard for us to concentrate, to meditate, to sleep, to rest, because our brain 
is so busy trying to process everybody else's thoughts and we don't even realize it. So after you've said come back, just imagine all these little tendrils shrinking back into the center of your brain. And as these are coming back in, you can begin to really relax, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Once all of these pieces of you are back, what we'd like for you to do is to actually imagine that you're inside that ball of light, if you're not already there. Once all these pieces of you are back, this ball of light will just automatically start to drop down, down through your head, down through your throat, down through your chest, down along your spine, through your torso, all the way down at the bottom of your tailbone and out your root chakra, which is at the base of the spine. This ball of electricity that is you will continue down into the earth through the foundation of the building that you're in, down through the earth, the sand, all of the earth energy will begin to heal anything on you that needs to be healed, whether you know it's there or not, seen or unseen, known or unknown. And this electricity that is you will continue down into the center of the earth. In the center of the earth, there's beautiful silver aquamarine, beautiful golden energies. These are mother earth's energies. This is the source in which your physical body was created. So allow Mother Earth energies, these neutral Earth energies, to surround your ball of electricity, to surround you with these healing energies. creating another bubble of light around you. When this electricity that is you is completely surrounded with these beautiful earth energies of unconditional love, hope, peace, joy, commitment, loyalty to yourself and others, you'll automatically, again, begin to rise up. Rise up from where you came from, the same channel going up through the earth. As you approach your physical body, you enter back up through the floor. As you enter up back into the physical body, these beautiful earth energies fill your feet, they fill your legs, your hips. Fill your abdomen, your torso, your chest, 
all of the earth energies go into your arms and fingertips. They feel your shoulders releasing the weight of the world that you carry on your shoulders for yourself and others. Releasing that now, sending it back to source or back to Mother Earth. And then you bring the Mother Earth energy, this neutral, beautiful source energy from the Earth up into your head, allowing it to completely fill your brain. And this will bring your little ball of electricity that is you back to the center of your brain. We ask now for those who accept it, so within your mind you may say yes, that all fears of activating one's intuition, all fears of activating a connection between a higher consciousness that is us, be released now and transmuted with these earth energies, as well as the soul's intelligence. We ask that all beliefs that one will be harmed or hurt, if they are intuitive or if they are able to connect with things that people cannot see or feel or define. We ask that this be released now as well. and that those beliefs, wherever they resided within the body, within the mind or spirit or soul, that those be filled with the Christ consciousness, the white light of creation, and any other energies that are required to bring this person into balance, each individual into balance, in the highest and best way in accordance with what their higher self and soul believe. From five to six feet above you, this is where your higher consciousness resides all day, every day. And it's like an orb of light that follows you around. It's always above you, letting you know what to do, but we have free will. Our mind can block the frequencies and the information coming from this higher aspect of self. So what we'd like for you to do is to imagine this ball of energy five to six feet above you. And just imagine what color is it? Even if you're not a visual person, you may hear green or pink, or you may say, it feels like it's pink or it feels like it's green. Just allow yourself to imagine what color it is, what size it is, And then begin to visualize this orb of light dropping down into the top of your head. And completely surrounding your head a big bubble of light. As you sit with this around your head, what you are in essence doing is allowing the messages in which 
this aspect, this higher consciousness that is you to in essence download these messages into your mind, into your soul's intelligence without the disruption of other people's energies that are in your field, your thoughts, your beliefs. So just sit for a moment and allow for this to download any messages. If you're a visual person, you may imagine that there's a screen in front of your eyes, it's almost like this bubble around your head or virtual reality glasses or that you're in a movie theater. If you're someone that feels more, you can just feel what it feels like. If you're imagining and if you're visual, the screen, you can ask specific questions. Or you can say, show me an image of something that will represent the answer to my question about whether I should take this job or not. Or should I stay in this relationship? Should I have a child? Without judgment, just watch, feel, listen to what comes through. You'll have a chance to write it all down in a moment. If you see nothing or feel nothing, this is okay too. By just sitting, you're allowing the information into your field without disruption. We'll leave you for about a minute now. So that you may allow your higher consciousness to communicate with you now. If you saw nothing and felt nothing, this is okay. Sometimes this is better, it'll come through the writing. So there's no good or bad, right or wrong, it just is. So what we'd like for you to do now is to just imagine this bubble of light that's around your head that is your higher consciousness. In any way that you'd like to imagine beginning to shrink into the center of your mind so that it is wrapped perfectly around that ball of electricity that is in the center of your brain. Once it is wrapped around that electricity, the energy that it is shoots directly up out of your head and securely connects to source. So like a beam of light coming out of the center of your mind, going up and directly, directly connecting to source. the zero point, the light of all creation. And then from the bottom of this bubble of light, shoots directly down through your body, out your root, and securely connects you to earth. The 
This allows this consciousness that you are to communicate through any chakra, any layer of you that is easiest for you. So just feel what it feels like to be connected to this higher consciousness. Feel what it feels like to be connected to the earth, to source. And if you have any worries or anxieties at this time is a good time to just ask that those be released into the earth or into source. Any worries. We bring in the love, the unconditional love of spirit, of the light, the white light. We bring this into each individual, listening to this at this time, aligning all layers of the body, all layers of the higher self, removing any attachments, removing anything that may be blocking one's consciousness from communicating with themselves, with their guides, with their creator. We release each individual from the obligation to know everything and to be right, for this is the thing that blocks most of us from our intuition. We release you of this obligation now, and we infuse you with the ability to just have fun and play like a child. Even if you're asking serious questions, you can still say, what if my higher self had an answer? What would that be? What if I actually had a creator self? And if I did, what would that creator say? What if? And if you can play that game with yourself, this is when you'll see that all the frequencies of your higher consciousness will begin to communicate through you. Because it moves the ego out of the way and tells them, oh, we're just playing games right now. We're just having fun. Go ahead and take a seat. So bring your awareness back to your physical body. You can first bring your awareness back to your hands. If you'd like, you can just kind of visualize that light energy that you called into your mind, kind of shooting from your mind into your hands where there's a direct connection between that and your fingertips, where you'll either be typing or writing in your journal. And whether your question was answered or not while you were in this meditation, you're still going to want to write it down. So you can either set a timer or you can just free write for as long as you'd like. But in your mind, just ask, that that higher state of consciousness that is you, your higher self. Step forward now. We ask that the ego and the intellect be set aside in the highest and best way so that this greater piece of you can either write a letter to you or answer questions or just write as yourself. And if you feel like another train of thoughts coming through, while you're writing, you can stop what you're writing and just start writing the other train of thought. Just go with it. Don't bother with punctuation. Don't bother with handwriting. I mean, you're gonna wanna read it later, so make sure you can read it, but just write what comes to mind. And remember that nothing's perfect, nothing is right, and nothing is wrong. Just write, and you'll be pleased even if later on you look back and say, "Ugh, I couldn't connect with my higher consciousness because of this, this, and this. You may look back in a year and you may be channeling, healing, completely connecting with this piece and you'll be able to look back and go, oh, I remember when I couldn't connect. That's, that's cute, that's awesome. I really love that I'm able to see my growth. So just write what comes to mind and enjoy yourself. And 
Make sure also when you have these aha moments, when these exciting things happen in your life, when you have these synchronicities, you see 11-11 every single time you look at the clock or, you know, just these exciting things happen, make sure to write them down. You'll really appreciate it later on because it will really bring a lot of joy into your spiritual practice in those times where you kind of lose that excitement. So we bless each and every single one of you and we bid you adieu.